Hey guys, my name is Whitney. I want to tell you a little bit about cystic fibrosis, which I have. For the longest time, I was really embarrassed about having a disease, which people that have a dis disability or disease should not be embarrassed. You cannot help it in any way, so why be embarrassed about something you can't help? I put a status on my personal Facebook asking people about questions people would like to know about people with cystic fibrosis. I'm just going to answer some and I have them written down so sorry if I keep on looking down. The first one is what is cystic fibrosis? Cystic fibrosis is a genetic disease that affects 30,000 people in the United States. Genetic means that both parents had to have the gene to have a baby born with it. One in 31 Americans have the gene and do not know it. It is a mucous mutation disease which most of my internal organs are covered in thick sticky mucus which causes them to not work properly. The most affected organs with CF would have to be the lungs, and the pancreas. What are the symptoms? Salty skin, coughing, and producing phlegm, yeah it's gross, frequent lung infections, shortness of breath, poor growth weight and weight gain, malnutrition, frequent greasy bowel movements. How is cystic fibrosis diagnosed? Uh, it is usually diagnosed through newborn screening and sweat testing. I was diagnosed at four weeks old through a sweat chloride test. What are the complications with cystic fibrosis? Um, frequent lung infections, lung infections that cause lung damage and hospitalizations, which, yeah. CF related diabetes, stomach trouble, constipation, CF related diabetes. What is the longest amount of time you have spent in the hospital? And I would say about a month and a half, I think. But usually when I go in the hospital, which isn't very often, it's usually about every one to two years. I go in for about two weeks and then my doctor lets me do home IVs for and finish out my treatment. What is the life expectancy of a CF patient? And I don't really focus on the life expectancy but it is the mid 30s. Uh, CF affects people differently. Some people are very sick with CF and they don't live very long and some people you can't even tell they have CF and live a very long life. What do you do to keep yourself healthy? What is your daily routine? And I take pancreatic enzymes because my pancreas doesn't work very well so I take about four to five pills every single meal so I can absorb my food I take inhalers do uh, respiratory therapy which is do my nebulizer multiple multiple um, medicines of my nebulizer I do a machine called a vest which blows up and it beats my lungs and knocks the mucus off. If you want, I could do a daily routine to show you the day in the life of someone with CF. I try to stay healthy with uh, never missing any of my medicines or treatments. And I try to exercise and stay active. How do you try to normalize your life if you do try? Um, I think my life is pretty normal because this is the life of the only life I have ever known. But I try to just 
do what normal people do. Just hang out with friends, I go to college, I have a boyfriend, so my life is pretty normal besides I live with a disease. But I remember there was a time where I didn't really think I was normal, I was an outcast, I made myself that way. The first time I really, I really sank in that I had a disease was in elementary school, there was this girl, she was raving about her birthday party she was going to have. She was going to have this big blowout, and she had invited every kid in the class except me. And I wondered why, why didn't she invite me? I took it so personally that I went to the counselor's office and just cried. And that the counselor asked that girl to come in and ask her why she didn't invite me. She said, Oh, I didn't think you could come because you have a disease. And that really, really hurt me. It's really stuck with me my whole life. Yeah, I'm over it. But there has been certain instances in my life where I haven't felt normal or people haven't made me feel normal. Are there any things environmentally that can cause a person with CF to become worse? Um, what, what makes me sick is really cold weather, if I go out without a scarf, uh, humidity will make a lung infection flare up like that. Um, it causes me to have a lot of shortness of breath. I can't be around people that are sick because I have a bad immune system. What is the worst part about having CF? I would say the worst part would be having really close friendships with people with CF and then passing away. It really does hurt you when someone dies from the same disease that you have. Another bad thing about CF would be not being able to hang out with people that have CF. Um, people that have CF have bacteria on their lungs and it varies from person to person that has CF and if, say if I have one bacteria that someone with CF doesn't have and I go around them, I could give it to them. So yeah, it could be really bad. Has anything positive came out of having CF? And I would say definitely. I have met so many good friends that have CF as well. We are a support group. I have met nurses and doctors that are just amazing that I keep in touch. I mean, I even text some of my nurses. We, um, another thing that is positive is when people tell me that I have inspired them through my struggles and my disease and being strong, that it has inspired them to be strong. And that and not just people that have CF, but anyone, there's been people that they have a different disease or disability and when they say that it makes me feel so good that through my struggles that I've helped somebody. Has CF affected any of your relationships? And yeah, I believe it's affected. I've had friends ditch me when I've gotten in the hospital or I've been I've been dumped by a guy when I was in the hospital. Whenever I go to date somebody, it's really awkward to tell them, oh, um, I like you, by the way, I have a disease. That will affect our relationship. Um, sometimes, like, I won't feel good. And someone, one of my friends or boyfriends, they have to be understanding that sometimes I can't always go out and do things with them. What was your lowest point with your disease? And the lowest point would have to be last year. I wasn't really taking my care of myself like I should have been and doing stupid things, not hanging around with the right people. And I became really, really sick and ended up in the hospital 
for a couple of weeks. And in that time, all those friends that I had been hanging out with, not even one person, not even one of my so-called friends even called to check on me. And it really hurt when you're in a hospital bed and you're really sick. You expect one of your friends to call you and I just felt so alone. And on top of it, my doctor had been telling me that my disease was spiraling downhill at a rapid rate and that he didn't think I was going to get any better. And I became really negative and just wasn't my personality. I was crying all the time. I didn't have hope. And after a while of having a pity party, I picked myself up and I became positive and I began to do things to make myself better. And sometimes, you know, doctors are wrong and I am healthier than I have been in years. Is there a cure? No, there is not a cure. A lot of people, well not a lot, but some people that have CF, they do have lung transplants, but that's not a full cure. Your other organs are still affected, just not your lungs, and people that have transplants have complications as well. I hope that in the future there is a cure. This is such a terrible disease, and it would just be great to not have to live with this disease. It would be great not having to take a ton of pills and spending a lot of my time doing respiratory therapy. Although it's all worth it. And What is one thing you want people to know about having a disease? Um, I would say that even though you have a disease, don't let anything stop you from Chasing your dreams. Follow your dreams. Be My dream is to inspire people with diseases and disabilities and I hope that I can do that. And I am also going to college working on a degree in healthcare and being in a, out of a hospital for 22 years I have experience and I believe that I can make a difference for people that is coming in and out of the hospital. So, yeah, if you have a disease, don't anything don't let anything stop you from following your dreams and also having a positive outlook in life. That that will make you feel better. So, don't worry about what the doctors tell you. They are not always right. Pray and have hope and faith and if you have a disease or disability and you need someone to talk to, come to me. I am a great person to talk to. I love to listen to people's stories and yeah, so guys, sorry if this video was a little jumbled. Um, if you have any other questions about my disease, if you want me to do another video about the day in the life of someone with CF, just let me know. and. I really appreciate you guys for watching my videos. I know I'm new to YouTube and I just care about making a difference and I want people to get something out of watching my videos. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you.